In this short tutorial, I'm going to talk about the environment options for the Tombio Productivity Tools. You can start a little window, an editable window, from this option here on the menu. Just resize it a bit. And in here, there are lots of sort of shortcut values that save us um, populating uh, editable boxes in some of these tools all the time. Let's start with the map mashup tool. There are two values associated with that one which set the values which you can see here. So rather than me having to put those in each time by browsing to an image folder and registration folder, if I have values that I always want to set those to, I can specify them here. And what you need to know is the name of the key, which must be right here. So the image folder is map mashup dot img folder colon. Then you put a space in the path to the folder. And the registration file folder where you put the WLD files is map mashup dot reg folder colon space and then the uh, path. Okay, the other tool that you can uh, specify some values for to make life easier is the Birec tool. Let's start that up. And the first value here, which must start biorec.csv folder is the folder that you'll automatically go to when you use the browse button here. So if you keep your CSV files in a particular folder, you can set that here and when you go to browse to them, you'll come up with them straight away rather than having to navigate the file system. So that's a convenient option. And then the other two folder options here both refer to items on the options tab of that tool. So the atlas image folder, so biorec.atlas image folder, specifies this folder here where images, atlas images will be created when using the tool in batch mode. And the other one, biorec.style file folder, indicates the folder that you'll automatically open at when you use the style file browse button here, when you're looking for a style file to apply to batch um, maps created uh, for an atlas. The final options down here refer to the tab of the data specification here. When you first browse to a CSV file and you have to set these column names, if you're, if you're opening the same file a lot it can be a bit of a pain if you have to reset those each time. So what you can do is specify them here. So the syntax it always starts by a rec dot and then we've got grid ref col colon and then the name of a column, a field in the CSV file that will contain grid references. And you can have more than one for the same column. So we've got grid ref col grid ref with an uppercase R here and grid ref col grid ref with a lowercase R there. Similarly we've got three different options for taxon col hit down here and that will that'll set the taxon column here. So for different spreadsheets sometimes it's called scientific name sometimes taxon name, sometimes taxon for some of the spreadsheets I use, so conveniently I have them all there. And similarly with grouping col, so biorec.grouping col will set um, this one down here. Abundance col will set that one there. And if you have scientific names, biorec.scientific names colon space true then by default this checkbox will be checked when you open a CSV file. And if you have biorec.make tree true, then the taxonomic tree will be automatically generated. And the best way to see all of that is by showing you an example. So let's get rid of this dialog. And I'll browse to a CSV file, one that I use a lot. So you can see it's automatically set those fields because it's found them in the environment file. It's automatically checked that box and if I go to the taxa tab it's automatically built the tree. I don't have to go and hit the make tree button so it's ready to go. So that's a convenient way of speeding up the use of that tool.